Protests are taking place in Israel over proposed changes to the country's judicial system, with hundreds of thousands taking part in the biggest demonstrations of the decade. The overhaul, spearheaded by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, would give the government control over judge selection and dismissal, and allow lawmakers to override Supreme Court decisions with a simple majority. Proponents argue changes made in 1992 yielded too much power to the Supreme Court, while critics suggest the bill may help Netanyahu avoid conviction in his corruption trial. Israel is facing an internal crisis related to changes in its system of government. Israel does not have a constitution, but has a series of basic laws, which were meant to be a substitute for a unified constitution. The laws can be adopted or annulled by a simple or absolute majority of the Knesset. In 1992, the Knesset passed a basic law known as the Law of Human Dignity and Freedom, which included the right of judicial review. This law enabled the Supreme Court to retroactively annul laws passed by the Knesset that conflicted with these provisions. The court began to apply the concept of reasonability as grounds for annulling legislation. However, these developments did not reflect a national consensus, and many argued that the judicial revolution was an undemocratic encroachment on the will of the people by an unelected elite whose views were out of harmonization with most Israelis. The lack of a constitution and deep divisions within Israeli society have also meant that the concept of checks and balances has not been a priority for either side of the political spectrum. Protesters in Israel are preparing for a nationwide day of resistance aimed at disrupting the Prime Minister's route to the airport for his trip to Italy, with plans for marches, strikes, and disruptions to traffic and train services. Protesters' plan is to disrupt daily life and demonstrate against the government's judicial overhaul plans. The day includes blocking roads around Ben Guion Airport to make it difficult for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to depart on an official visit to Italy, as well as marches, temporary workplace strikes, and rallies outside government officials' homes. Police warn of fines for drivers intentionally causing traffic issues and impounding cars left on roads. Protest organizers call on the public to participate, while officials warn against anarchy and disruptions to routine. Supporters see the overhaul as a necessary reform to reign in an activist court, while critics argue it weakens Israel's democratic character and removes a key element of checks and balances. Former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who is currently on trial for corruption, is set to return to office, from where he could try to make his years-long legal troubles disappear through new legislation advanced by his far-right and ultra-Orthodox allies. Critics say such a legal crusade is an assault on Israel's democracy. Netanyahu will likely be buoyed by a loyal and comfortable governing majority that could grant him a lifeline from conviction. Netanyahu's political rivals say such allegations of purportedly politicized prosecutors and judges are part of a campaign to erode the public's faith in the legal system and ultimately weaken it. His allies have pledged to make changes to the justice system and create laws that would postpone the prosecution of a sitting prime minister for alleged crimes until he leaves office, remove the charge of fraud and breach of trust from the penal code, and reconfigure the attorney general's role. These changes are seen as a direct blow to Israel's democracy, and critics worry that this would allow Netanyahu's allies to take actions to clear him.